in, in part one we spoke about how the concept of creation and resurrection in these ayat how it's linked together in the sense that the creation and the resurrection all happen because of the word of Allah kun his command from his word kun creation from nothingness resurrection after death and how all of these words are kalimatullah that can never be exhausted and he gives us an example of a particular creation shams and qamar the sun and the moon it's part of the creation and even though they're great creations they are also they're only there till a certain time ila ajalin musamma and that is the day of resurrection so how this concept of creation and resurrection is tied together very exquisitely in these three ayat and in fact if you were to study the surah surah duqman you will find that this is a repeating theme throughout the ayat now one thing that we also notice is often you would notice in the quran if you were to read it that Allah SWT ends the ayat by certain names that belong to him in fact many times he ends it with a pair of names so inna Allah azizun hakimun and the translation was Allah is exalted in might that's aziz and hakim wise Right? But there is more to it. There is something that's lost in the translation there. In Allah Samir and Basir, Allah is hearing and seeing. Samir is hearing, Basir, seeing. So this is something this is something that comes a lot in the Quran. But these names, number one, the first thing to keep in mind about this is that the names that Allah SWT mentions, they are complementary. So they actually complete the meaning together. They're complementary. I don't think I have right time, the space to write the entire word, but you know what I'm saying. And secondly, there is a very deep link between uh, what's mentioned in the names and what's mentioned in the ayah, and also what's mentioned in the ayat that are around. So let's take a look at these two things. Uh, how uh, there is the names are complementary; they complete the meaning, and in fact, they really make it uh, something quite exquisite. And the, how the names are linked to uh, the concept that's being talked about, which is creation and resurrection. The two names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we're looking at are is Aziz and Hakim. They come at the end of the ayah, Inna Allah Azizun Hakim. Uh, and then the second ayah is the one that we were looking at in a lot of detail, your creation and your resurrection. These two names come just before it. So what we want to take a look at is, number one, how these two names... Azizun Hakim. First of all, what they mean, and second of all, how they are linked to this ayah, and then how they are linked to this ayah. Okay, so first, what they mean. So I've scribbled down a little something here. Inshallah, we'll talk about it quickly. Aziz, and before actually I begin, I must say uh, this is a disclaimer that this is not a comprehensive study of the names of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. This is actually a very deep study. The scholars spend a lot of time discussing these things. Uh, this is just something very brief, keeping in the keeping in mind the context uh, of the two ayat that we are discussing, and inshallah it will be beneficial. Aziz could come from uh, izza, right? Meaning he has lahu izza, he has honor, he has uh, glory. This is izza, right? And uh, it also could come from the fact uh, that la ya ajizuhu shay, that nothing is beyond him. That's mighty, right? Nothing is beyond him. He's so mighty that he can do anything he wants. That is uh, might. So um, that's how actually the the word the the name rather is translated. Exalted in might. He's so exalted in might that nothing is beyond him. La uh, Also, uh, going to now sorry rather going to the word Hakim now the the name Hakim, it could come from Hikma, which means wisdom, right? Wisdom. Uh, the, uh, having a reason to do something that's wisdom hakim and also could come from the word hukum which means judgment to pass judgment uh, to have the ability to give a ruling to give a verdict that's hikmah or that hikmah uh, that is hukum the ability to pass a judgment a ruling is hukum what we're trying to understand here is this combination in allah azizun hakim Allah is exalted in might and is wise. It comes at the end of this ayah, manaf this walau anna ma fil ardi min shajara, and also it comes before this ayah, right? So, 
let's see what how this is tied to the ayah itself and then what how it's tied to the ayah afterwards okay so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is aziz he has honor he has he has he's so mighty nothing is beyond him and he's also hakim he has wisdom and he has the ability to give a judgment he has the ability to rule so combination of this if you look at what this ayah tells us it says that if you know, my nafidat kalimatullah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's words will not be exhausted. That is something that is extremely honorable. And at the same time, it's not something that's random. The words are not random. In fact, the words are used to create human beings, animals, all the creation. So this is something that's incredible. Also, he's mighty. Aziz, that he has might in the sense that nobody else has this. This having words that cannot be exhausted it's not beyond Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nothing is beyond him he's mighty and hukum with his words he passes the judgment when he gives a command it's done that is the ability that, that, that ability to pass judgment is hukum right so this is how Azizun Hakim is connected to the ayah in which the, these two names are connected to the ayah that they come in at the end and then also these two names the combination is connected to the ayah after. The ayah after says, "Ma khalqukum wala ba'thukum." Right now, khalqukum, your creation. So al khaliq, the creator. What about the creator? Right, lahu izza. He has honor. He has ex- uh, extreme amount of honor because he's the one who's creating. And also Hakim, he is. He's wise. He has wisdom because he doesn't just create for no reason. مَا خَلَقْنَا السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ مَا بَيْنَهُمَا إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ It's created for a reason. You know, وَمَا خَلَقْنَا السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ مَا بَيْنَهُمَا لَعِبِينَ We did not create this. Allah SWT says in another part of the Qur'an, we did not create the heavens and the earth and all this glorious creation for fun and amusement to pass time. No. It's for a reason. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I've created human beings and jinns so that they can enslave themselves to me. This is what Allah SWT tells us. So when He creates, He creates with wisdom. There's a point to His creation. All the creation that He creates, there is some wisdom in it. So Aziz, He does it. He has honor. He has extreme honor. And Hakim, because he has, when He creates, He creates with wisdom. It's not just random. It's not pointless. Also, al uh, he is also al baith He's the one who is going to resurrect, right? He's your creation and your resurrection. Remember, so resurrection, the one who resurrects, is this something that's very hard to do? It's extremely hard to do. So la ya ajizuhu, la shay. It's not beyond him. He's mighty. Nothing. It's not beyond him to bring somebody from the dead back to life. This is not beyond him. So aziz, and he hakim bimana hukum. Meaning the sense that he has the ability to judge. So when he resurrects people, guess what's going to happen? It's the day of judgment. It's going to be the day when judgment will be passed. So Hakim, he will give the judgment on that day. How exquisite and how beautiful. How subhanAllah, it blows your mind that this is truly the word of Allah. The word of God. That how he's tying everything together. right? And we, we need to take this and ponder over this. How incredible this is. I hope this presentation was a benefit and whatever good in this, uh, that was in it is from Allah and any mistake is from me. Jazakumullah khairan. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu Allah ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tawbirik.